Assalamualaikum and good day. Today, I am presenting my team research. The title is Effect of Sodium Hydroxide and Sodium Silicate of Geopolymer Concretes at Ambient Temperature. This research has been conducted by me, myself, Rahim Isha, together with Sinatu Sadia Shafi'i and Dr. Hassan Ben Ismail. First thing first, I would like to explain the definition of concrete. Concrete is formed by a mix of cement, gravel, sand and water, which desired grade and water similar ratio. Cement is the most material as binder of concrete, which affected their strength. The cement industry consumes a lot of energy and produce a lot of pollution, odor and noise. Cement manufacturing also contributes of global carbon dioxide emission. According to Suhendro 2014, define Green concrete is described as concrete which contains at least one component made from waste or the manufacturing process doesn't harm the environment or which has high performance and life cycle sustainability. Recycling of waste should be implemented in construction to maintain environmental, economic and social development. Now I am going to explain geopolymer concrete. Geopolymer concrete is an innovative and eco-friendly construction material and an alternative to Portland cement concrete. Use of geopolymer concrete can reduce the demand of Portland cement which is produced for high carbon dioxide emission. According to Rafi Zonos, 2016 mentioned Malaysia generate approximately 8.5 million tons of coal ash waste which includes bottom ash and fly ash. According to Aydin and Baradan 2012 or 2010 mentioned the use of coal fly ash as the primary source of silica, alumina and limes allow this waste to be reused. Furthermore, fly ash as industrial waste can be investigated the efficiency employed in geopolymer concrete which could be contribute in solving waste disposal issue. This is the objective of this research. Firstly, to evaluate compressive strength of green concrete which fly ash as pozzolanic material to be fully replaced cement via geopolymer process. Next, to evaluate workability of green concrete which fly ash as pozzolanic material to be fully replaced cement via geopolymer process. Now I am going to explain method and material of this research. The material was used of this research are the ordinary policy man was used in compliance with nation standard 2014 while fly ash as pozzolanic material was used with conformant ASTM C618 cost aggregate of nominal size of range 2.36 mm to 20 mm was used in producing concrete according to BS882-1992 River sand as fine aggregate of nominal size of range 0.15 micrometer to 5 mm was used in this study and comply to BS 882 1992. The mixture of sodium hydroxide and sodium silicate was used as an alkaline solution. The concentration of sodium hydroxide was varied molarities of 8 molarities, 10 molarities, 12 molarities, and 14 molarities for all mixture. This is the mixing proportion was used in this research. Design of normal concrete mix were applied according to the building research establishment BRE guideline. The different molarities of 0 molarities, 8 molarities, 10 molarities, 12 molarities, and 14 molarities of sodium silicate solution were used in this research. Mix of grade 30 of concrete was used. Water similar ratio is 0.45. The ratio of sodium silicate and sodium hydroxide is 1.5.
This is the detail of mixed proportion of concrete grade 30 per meter cube. This is the method were conducted of this research. The chemical of composition of fly ash was conducted using X-ray fluorescent XRF. Sodium silicate was dissolved using distilled water and left for a day as preparation of the solution before mixing in the concrete. The casting of concrete was done in cube mold measuring 100 mm times 100 mm times 100 mm. A total of 75 cubes concrete were made. Cube of concrete were demolded after 24 hours and the specimen were placed in an oven at 70 degrees Celsius for 48 hours and then taking out from the oven and placed in a room at ambient temperature until testing. The specimen of the concrete were tested on compressive strength at 7, 14, 28, 56 and 90 days by using 100 5500 kN Matthias compression testing machine compliant to BS 1881116. The slump test was implemented to evaluate the workability of the fresh concrete according to BS 1881 Part 2 1983. This is the result of chemical composition of fly ash. According to the ASTM C618, class F of fly ash stated the submission of silicon dioxide, aluminum oxide, iron oxide is not less than 70% and calcium oxide is less than 10%. From the, from the results show, the total of silicon dioxide, aluminum oxide, and iron oxide is 88% and the fly ash can be classified as class F. This is the result of scanning electron micrograph SEM. A scanning electron micrograph show that microstructure of the original fly ash consists of mostly glassy and spherical particles. The sizes of the particle of fly ash are 1.0 micrometer to 7.6 micrometer. According to the glassy and spherical particles was seen, it may help to reduce internal friction between aggregates and concrete containing fly ash and may increase the consistency of concrete. This is the result of semi-log graph of cost aggregate sieve analysis that illustrated Based on the results show, a sample of cost aggregate in all sizes within the limitation and acceptable in mixing of the concrete. This is the result of semi-log graph of fine aggregate sieve analysis that illustrated. Based on the results show, fine aggregate in all sizes was seen within the limitation and consider appropriate material in the concrete mix. This is the result of workability test. The result indicate the molarity of sodium hydroxide increase will tend to decrease the workability of concrete. This is the result of compressive strength test. The illustrated graph show relationship between compressive strength of the concrete and molarities of sodium hydroxide. Based on the result, the compressive strength of concrete is increased when molarities of sodium hydroxide increase until 12 molarity. Although the compressive strength of the concrete decrease when the molarity of sodium hydroxide achieve 12 molarity. The optimum compressive strength 61.5 Newton per millimeter cube was seen at 12 of sodium hydroxide compared to the control 34 Newton per millimeter square at 90 days. The increment of compre compressive strength may be due to alkaline solution as an activator to fly ash in concrete via the geo geopolymer process. The compressive strength of the specimen was seen decrease 37 newton per milliliter square when 14 molarities of sodium hydroxide 
at 90 days. Now I'm going to explain the conclusion of this research. First, the replacement of fly ash and alkaline solutions significantly increased the strength of the concrete. The sodium hydroxide of 12 molarity achieved the optimum value of compressive strength and considered the best ratio in the concrete mix at 90 days. The compressive strength of geopolymer concrete shown decreased at 14 molarities. Next, from the slump test result, the increase of sodium hydroxide molarity in geopolymer concrete will decrease the slump height. It means the workability of concrete at 12 molarity sodium hydroxide close to 10 mm and it considers the concrete is less workable. The concrete require an increase in water demand when designing a ratio of concrete at 12 sodium hydroxide molarity. Eventually, the full replacement of cement by fly ash and adding activator in concrete via geopolymer process opened up a feasible op option of reducing environmental impact in building construction while providing green concrete as an alternative material in building technology. The different temperatures of kirin on geopolymer concrete are suggested to be applied in the future research toward obtaining well result in green concrete.